Hi, this is Michelle Rouchlock, Naturalist, and welcome to Virtual Experiences with the Hancock Park District. It's Friday, so we're hitting the trails. Today you're joining me at Litzenberg Memorial Woods, and we're here to talk about some trees that keep their leaves throughout the winter. And you might notice we're getting some snow today, and I'm actually being rained on, not because it's turned to rain already, but because the snow that has fallen on the trees has melted, and the drips are coming down on top of us now. So you might have noticed if you're out in the parks or in your own woods that some trees still hold on to their leaves throughout the winter. And there's not too many that do that. The beech tree which we have here, oaks and hornbeams. And it's something called Markinsense. That means they're holding on to dead plant material that they usually shed. So why are they doing this? Well, there's a couple of theories of why, because most deciduous trees like maples and elms and things like that will drop their leaves. So one thought is to hold on to the nutrients of that tree. So the leaves, when they normally fall in the fall, will go to the ground and automatically start to decompose. And so they will leach, they might get blown away, and so that parent tree is losing the nutrients from those leaves. So by holding on to them, they're keeping some of that. Now these leaves will fall in the springtime once these buds that are already on here for next year kind of open up and push them off. So now you have the leaves falling in the spring when the tree's starting to kind of waken up, start to be producing its own food again. So having that extra nutrients on the ground is really helpful for that parent tree. Another thought is these leaves are kind of helping these buds by covering them. So animals like white-tailed deer aren't accessing them and eating them. Another thought is it's helping them from the frost by having that extra cover on them. Um, if a bad frost were to come through, it might destroy those leaves, which are very important to trees because they have uh, their green, which helps them photosynthesis and making their own food. Another thought is that the trees collect snow, which there's just a little bit from today's snow, and that it will melt and drop toward the bottom, collecting that moisture. I'm not so sure about this personally because if it gets too much snow on it, the thought is that the branches will break off and then you're losing all of those leaves that are there. I think this is why most trees drop their leaves anyways in the fall throughout the winter. So let's talk about our American beech. This is the tree that we're standing here. We've got a smaller one and then a larger example behind us. This one is really easy to identify by the bark. It's got that smooth gray bark which unfortunately we see a lot of people carve into. Um, it might be tempting for some people to do that, but I encourage you not to. That is actually damaging the tree. You're cutting into that bark, allowing parasites, insects, all kinds of things to get in there, and that can damage or even kill the tree. So refrain from doing that, please. Um, so it has that smooth bark. The buds are also pretty identifiable. They're long, they've got covered scales on there, and the th one uh, description was they look like little cigars, kind of on the end there. They also produce a beech nut, so it's a small triangular shaped nut. I know the ones here at Litzenberg that we have ha do produce those nuts, if you can find them. Many animals like to eat them. Squirrels, deer, pheasants, porcupines, ruffed grouse, just to name a few that are going around and eating them off the ground. It's one that is not poisonous to humans, but again, like I always mention, do your homework before consuming. So, it's a great time to be out in the parks. Again, you might start to notice those trees with leaves as you're driving around. Just know they probably are a beech or an oak or hornbeam. Remember to join us on Monday for one o'clock for our discovery stories. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.